a whole lot of very sophisticated analysis were run on reinforced concrete ordinary as well as special moment frames. Large number of frames each analyzed by state of the art dynamic analysis beyond which doesn't exist. Each frame under 22 pairs as I recall of earthquake ground motion. So 44 records. It, it's a whole lot of sophistication and so forth. Anyway, most of this analysis showed story mechanisms forming in these frames disquietingly early into the excitation. It, 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 it really shook up the researchers. They, they kept on wondering why, particularly in a special moment frame where, where we have strong column weak beam, we would have story mechanisms forming. Then somebody came up with the idea, let us redesign these frames, which had been designed by AC705 by AC702, meaning bringing the minimum base shear back, 044S sub ds times I times W. Lo and behold, the problem essentially disappeared. And, and, and it was so conclusive that, that they had to agree that the removal of the minimum base shear had been a mistake. So it has now been reinstated. That is the main thing that, that we want to convey to you. It has been reinstated in 2009 IBC. In seismic design, we start with the design base shear V which is given in our codes. Today, AC7 gives us the design base shear by multiple <coughs> formulas. Having obtained that, we distribute it along the height of the structure in the manner prescribed by the code. Once we have done the distribution, we do not have the base shear to work with anymore. What we have now are lateral forces acting at the various floor levels. Next thing we do is an elastic analysis of the structure under those distributed forces. That analysis gives us two very important things. Um, okay, this is another set of conditions. It's kind of like a whole other subset where dynamic analysis is required. And dynamic analysis is required if a building meets all of the following conditions. Uh, number one, it's, si it's in a higher seismic design category, not of light frame construction. Light frame construction is off the hook, thank goodness. I think we're all very happy that you don't need to do a dynamic analysis for light frame constructions, for light frame construction. And if the structure contains one of the following irregularities. Torsional or extreme torsional irregularities, we're looking at horizontal here irregularities, and here are the vertical irregularities, stiffness, soft story, stiffness, extreme soft story, weight mass, or vertical geometric irregularities. If your building has any of those irregularities, regardless of height, we're talking one story, two story, with a torsional irregularity, you must do a dynamic analysis in seismic design categories D through F. So that's a huge change from what we're used to using the 97 UBC. So the question is, if you have an operable door or a window, is that an opening, is that a, a, an enclosure? Now, in, in an apartment building or an office building, the windows are operable but it is entirely, <laughs> uh, what, what's the right word? It, it makes all the sense in the world to assume that those operable windows will be closed in the design wind event. If there are people inside, they will close them. If, if people have left, it is vacant space. Chances are very high that they would have closed the windows before they left. Okay. And this is the assumption we routinely make. An office building, an apartment building, there are operable windows. We treat them as enclosures, not openings. Okay. <laughs> Why do we pay so much attention? Because it is bad for buildings. Really. I mean, I mean, torsion is one factor that 
I mean, you, you, there, there are only a few things that you keep on saying. The, the weak story or the soft story, the, the, the ground level having less strength or stiffness than the other levels, that is always bad. It doesn't have to be ground level. Any level that is distinctly different will attract damage and cause problems. Torsion is one of those things. Some torsion is fine, particularly if we design for it, but a lot of torsion is very difficult to design for. And, and beyond a point, whatever you do doesn't seem to work. The, the, the bad things happen to buildings in, in, in an earthquake.